Philippe François Joseph Le Bas, the 4th of November 1762, Frevent, Pas de Calais, the 28th of July 1794, Paris, was a French politician. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> the son of a notary, intendant to the Prince de Rache, avocat to the Parliament of 1789, companion and collaborator of Saint Just, Le Bas was elected député to the National Convention for the Pas de Calais in 1792, sitting among the Montagnards. A discreet, cold, and loyal representative, he voted for King Louis XVI's death and against the sentence at his trial, i.e., against the people's appeal. Le Bas and de Canoy were delegated to the Armée du Nord in August 1793, and Le Bas proceeded with the arrest of Generals Richardot and Omorin for inability. A member of the Committee of General Security, he was among those close to Robespierre, Couthon, and Saint-Just, who had a brief and discreet relation with his sister Henriette. He and Saint-Just were made the Convention's commissioners to the armies and set out on this mission to eastern France, where he reorganized the army after its reverses at Wissembourg. Saint Just and Le Bas were also later sent to reorganize the Armée du Nord by the Committee of Public Safety in the face of an attempted return by Austrian forces after Wattignies. It was this reorganization that made possible the victory at Fleurus. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Death. Faithful to Robespierre to the bloody end on 9 Thermidor, when Augustin Robespierre demanded that he share his brother's fate, Le Bas demanded that he share the fate of Saint Just, committing suicide by pistol just as the anti robespierre stays under Barris and Leonard Borden broke into the Hotel de Ville where Le Bas had taken refuge with Maximilien Robespierre, Augustin Robespierre, Saint Just and Couthon. Marriage and issue He married Elizabeth Duplay, daughter of Maurice Duplay, Robespierre's landlord in Paris, and their son was Philippe Le Bas (1794–1860), who would be Louis Napoleon Bonaparte's preceptor until 1827, then director of the Library of the Sorbonne from 1844 to 1860, a member of the Académie des Inscriptions et Belles Lettres (1838–60), and president of the Institut de France from 1858. Bibliography In French, Stéphane Pohl, Elisabeth Duplay Le Bas, Autour de Robespierre, Le Conventionnel Le Bas, De Praise des Documents Inédits et les Memoirs de sa Vieuve, e. Flammarion, 1901, 340 pages. <laughs>